I'm so excited for you too, and I'm very excited to be here. And I know you guys are excited to be here. Is anybody else excited to be here? Yeah. On behalf of Stacy and Mike and her families, I'd like to welcome you to this wonderful day with these two amazing people. And as we gather here today, we give thanks and we celebrate one of life's greatest moments. We give recognition to the beauty and honesty and unselfish ways of Mike and Stacy's true love in front of family and friends. For it's you guys, family and friends, who taught them to love over the years, so it's only right that you guys are here today in this big celebration. Now I'd like to take a few moments, and your wedding day is one that seems to fly by, and it's, it's filled with emotion and friends and rings and family and dances. So I want you guys to turn, I want you to look at everybody who came here for you guys today. Give them a little wave, thank them for being here. Well, since falling in love and deciding to marry, Stacy and Mike, for what, well over two years, have been strengthened by their love and received many blessings through its beauty and its tenderness. They have learned that they can depend on each other and the power of their love, and through each other they are becoming better people. But today they come before us into the sacred covenant of marriage, vowing to be partners through the trials and triumphs of their shared life. Now they are declaring to each other and to all of us present that they will be by each other's side no matter what life brings their way. Now, someone once said in deciding to marry is like following a magnificent hunch. Now, the companionship you'll share from this day on is the hallmark of marriage and its richest and most valuable gift. Now, the contract of marriage is, is captured in its essence in the vows that you guys will exchange in a few moments. Now, that contract is most solemn and must be entered into thoughtfully and seriously with a deep awareness of its obligations and responsibilities. So before you say your vows, I'm going to ask you to declare your intent to be bound by them. So I want you to look deep into her eyes there. Might you take Stacy to be your wife? Will you give her your devotion, your loyalty, your strength, and your friendship? Do you promise to love her, comfort, honor, and respect her in both good times and the bad? Will you share with her all life has to offer, your hopes, your dreams, your achievements, and cherish her as your wife from this day forward? I do. Stacy, do you take Mike to be your husband? Will you give him your devotion, your loyalty, your strength, and friendship? Do you promise to love him, comfort, honor, and respect him in both good times and the bad? Will you share with him all life has to offer, your hopes, your dreams, your achievements, and cherish him as your husband from this day forward? I do. She does. Now, marriage is not something that these two people here created all by themselves. It takes a far wider community of family and friends like you to make any marriage work. Now, each of you have been invited here because you're a part of that family or that community. So, therefore, having heard these two state their intentions to each other, do you pledge to support their union and strengthen their lives together, to speak the truth to them in love, and with them seek a life of love for others? Now, friends and family, if you all agree with this, please say, yes, we do. There we go. Now, happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. It's a good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things, and it's never too old to hold hands. And it's remembering to say I love you at least once a day, and it's never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted, and the courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives, and it's standing together facing the world. So you having a party over here? It's forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. Now, it's doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in, but in the spirit of joy. And it's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. Now, it's not expecting your husband to wear a halo or the wife to have wings of an angel. It's not looking for perfection in each other. It's cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It's having the capacity to forgive and to forget, and it is giving each other an atmosphere which you guys both can grow, and it is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, but the obligation is reciprocal. And finally, it's not only marrying the right partner, but it's being the right partner. Amen? The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, verse 10, be devoted to one another in love, honor another above yourselves. John 15 says, my, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Sounds like a pretty common theme, love. Now, before you say your vows, I'm going to um, just remind you that the vows you guys are about to exchange, remember they serve as a, a verbal 
representation of a love that you guys are promising. But remember, it's not the words that you speak that's going to unite you together as one, but it's a, that inner sense of love and commitment that you feel within your heart and in your soul. So, you ready? Look at her. <laughs> I might take you, Stacy. I might take you, Stacy. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. I, Stacy, take you mine. I, Stacy, take you mine. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. Take a moment. <laughs> you ready? For better or for worse? For better or for worse? For richer or for poorer? For richer or for poorer? In sickness and in health? In sickness and in health? For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Now, the wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two loyal hearts in, in endless love. It is a seal of the vows that these two have made to one another. So let's, let's pray. Bless, O oh God, these rings who give them and who wear them. May they abide in thy peace, living together in unity, love, and happiness for the rest of their lives. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Mom and Dad. Now, one of these... Uh, Containers of sand represents you, Stacy. all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. And one represents you, too, Mike, all that you were, and all that you are, and all that you will ever be. Now, just as these grains of sand, they can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so will your marriage and your family be. And you guys can always add more sand to that if you want to fill it right up. So in closing, may your love be one based on freedom through for through our hands may touch, it's our hearts that hold. When you hold love within your heart, you radiate light, which shall brighten all the days of your life and beyond. Everything we truly love becomes a part of us forever. So take time with each other. Let your love seed grow and mature with the seasons to provide you with warmth, serenity, joy, and acceptance throughout all the, all the years of your marriage. Now, love is not a wall. It is a bridge. Love does not confine. It sets you free as a pathway winding, winding to places unknown and mysterious. With love to light the way, you can meet any challenge together. So Stacy and Mike, before your family and God and your friends, you have made your promise to be loving and faithful in your life together. Now, because you have promised your love to one another in fashion and promised the same by the giving and receiving of rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Yeah. Hold on. Don't leave. Don't leave me yet. Okay, won't you face everybody there? It's my honor to present you for, for the first time, Mr. and Ms. Mike and Stacy Jones. <laughs>